On this V8, this bearing is really bad. I've just put it through the sandblaster and now it's all blocked up with sand. No worries because I'm going to change the bearing. This is the same sort of pulley that's on the 300 TDI as well. I'll show you a quick way to do it. Of course, well, let's have a look. If we look at the tape, the, the uh, circlip on here, it isn't a real circlip. It's got two little tapers, but you have a hard time trying to flick anything in there. The little thing I do, because it doesn't cause any damage, is use a Dremel, and I'm going to put two little cuts in here. And I'll show you. Now, I hope this works. Let's see. Right, so you've got two little cuts in there, and then you're going to chop that bit out with the punch, like that. Chop that out. Well, put your glasses on when you do that. And then. When you turn it the other way, you get a screwdriver you should be able to just get under there and tap that out. This isn't my best screwdriver I must admit. There she goes. I lost me good screwdriver. Can you see there look? That allows us to get that clip off. Put your finger over it so it doesn't pop off, and then you can drop it, then you can drop it on the floor. So <laughs> now we can go across and change the bearing. It doesn't affect any balance or anything like that, but by come it makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to press that bearing out. We'll see if we've got one in stock. Probably not. The bearing is a 6203 2RS, that means two rubber seals. And I haven't got any. So I'll have to go downtown. Now, or alternatively, I'll go online and buy one for the simple reason. I'll tell you a stupid little thing. Our bearing shop now has to have an account and you have to have sales of over like $500 a year before they'll sell you anything. Well, if they want to put themselves out of business, so be it. So, if I'm going to order online, let's have a look at this air conditioning bearing. See if we can get that out too. With the centre nut undone, you simply pull up this plate. We're going to clean that piece up as well, sand that down. And then we can get access to here, which is like a some sort of half assed uh, circlip. It's a very strange one. And I don't know if that lifts off or pulls off. I actually have a puller for these. So let's get that circlip off first. I'm not sure if this is the approved way, but I've got that little uh, spring clip off, clip off there. Put some penetrating oil on and see if we can just pull it off with a three-legged puller. Oh, what a dream. No effort, look. How good is that product? Yeah, we didn't want to push the shaft back down. That's pretty good. Get it off that little bit more. There we go. So there we go, there's the bearing inside. Where is it now? 3 O B C S 10 Oh my goodness gracious me. Now, can we get it out though? Um, this could be a bit tricky because, let's see if we can focus, here, there's some little crimps here. Obviously, I do that, you do that somehow. That bearing's not sounding too bad. You know, I'm wondering if it's just rust built up on in the inside of here. 
feels nice. Do you know? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean up this with some emery cloth inside here and put this back together. Might not need a bearing, it might be just rust because it's been stood for a long time. Let me get on with that. Cleaned it up. Um, maybe I should tell you how it works. This is an electromagnet here. And the wire on the side of here, when it receives a signal from the air conditioning, this bit's spinning freely with your belt. And then when it gets uh, in the mood, the electromagnet pulls this on a, this is on a, like a flex plate, and it clamps, uh, it's called an electromagnetic clutch, and then it, it, it tightens up when your air conditioning works. You can hear it. Uh... Catching on somewhere. The bearing? Hmm. The jury's out on that one. Might be might be uh, no good. But it, there's there's precious little play on it, but it sounds a bit dry. I just wonder if we could pull the seal off and repack it. Let me have a look and see if I can get a little uh, picker and open that up. Using a little screwdriver, I picked off the seal with the dust seal, and there's hardly any grease in it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it because I've got nothing to lose and it's easy to get at. I'm going to try and pack a little bit of that uh, bearing grease, that April red bearing grease in there, and pack it in and see if it'll quieten it down. If it does, Okay, we'll leave it like that and we'll see what it's like on the car when it's running. Keep our eye on it. If it doesn't, because I've just had a look, I think you have to buy the whole pulley. We don't want to do that. So let's pack it up and see what it looks like. Well, I repacked it with grease and it sounds an awful lot better. Listen. So I think it's going to be alright. Well, like I say, we'll keep our eye on it. So what I'm going to do while it's off, I'm going to get some... Um, Brake cleaner, wash off the grease and give it a quick look, lick of paint because I cleaned out all the grooves in here just in case you know for the belt because that was a bit rusty let me clean this up, we'll put it back on, paint it we'll leave it at that, so the only bearing we've got to get is this little chap here not too bad I got my bearing online got it from Amazon <laughs> they were pretty cheap but these are really good access to get on and off and you know you spin it around there's, there's no problems with that so I've put it back in and now I'm going to fit the snap ring back in but I'm going to fit the snap ring or the circlip just like that so that if we have to take it off again which probably will do we can get at it quite easy so we'll just, we'll just ease that snap ring back in I actually, uh, there we go. I cleaned it with a bit of uh, emery first before I put it in, and now we can fit that to the pulley, which is here. Now we can fix it to this. Now this is a off a. A V8, so this is a right hand thread on the TDIs, it's a left hand thread. So we're going to fasten that nut up, and that should be good. Let me fasten it up and I'll come back. With the bearing on and fitted, it sounds really nice, and it's a way to salvage a part and put it on. Now, what usually goes wrong with these, apart from the bearings, is they go sort of off centre, and it's usually because of this. Uh, plastic in here wearing out and once that's gone well it's scrap you you can't do much you've got to buy a new one but interestingly enough I, one thing I was going to mention was that when I've worked on some American trucks they have a similar sort of system but a double bearing in here like two bearings either side back to back same dimensions and everything uh, I just wondered why they just did it like this with one bearing in maybe it was being cheap so that's going to go back on cheap fix. Remember this AC pulley, 
Well, lo and behold, I actually had a brand new one on the shelf. I don't think they're actually sold individually. You can get them on eBay and things like this, you know, clutch replacement kits. But I think that uh, this one had come off uh, an AC compressor when I was messing about and we needed V-belts. I might, have, I might have made a hybrid AC compressor to go like on a 200 TDI and only had a three, like a, a V8 pump so I took the, swapped over the clutches and things like that and I ended up with this so obviously I'm going to fit this so that'll wrap that job up for that little section on the pulleys uh, yeah that'll do that <clears throat> and well, now I'm going to get on and start to take some more bits and pieces off this engine so I hope you like that, it was just like I say a, a quickie just to sh show you how you can replace bearings if, it's, if necessary you don't have to buy the whole part catch you in the next video and don't forget making our, like, our Land Rovers that much more better every day bye